There's a niche out there that no one is talking about, and you could start profiting from it today with nothing but a laptop and Wi-Fi. See, most people spend months, even years, trying to find the perfect niche. But every once in a while, a golden opportunity pops up. A niche that's easy to break into, has low competition, and can generate serious income if you know how to tap into it. And the crazy part? Almost nobody knows this niche exists, meaning you can get ahead of the game before everyone else jumps in. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. From finding the best content ideas to using AI tools that make the process faster and easier. It's like the POV history niche, but 10 times better. And this account exploded with their second video. Now, to make this as simple as possible, I've linked a Google Doc in the description with everything you need from the AI tools I'm using to my step-by-step -step workflow. And if you're serious about making money online, check out my private community. Inside, you'll get access to my AZ TikTok course, one-on-one -on -one support, and a list of over 100 profitable niches that you won't find anywhere else. Oh, and if you're just starting out, grab my free ebook that shows you how to make your first $100 online. The link's down in the description. All right, let's get started by heading over to ChatGPT to generate ideas for this niche. Once you're on the AI, start by asking it to list 15 people that we can make a POV video from. All the prompts will be in the Google Doc for you to copy. Also in the Google Doc are TikTok accounts that give you access to the creativity program regions. As you can see, the AI has given us a list of POVs to use. I like this one about a broke college student, so I'll choose it for the video. Now copy the prompt and paste it back into ChatGPT. I'll then ask the AI to describe 15 scenes that'll easily reflect this person's life. If I skip ahead, you can see the AI has given us 15 scenes to use, and I like the sound of them. Now we'll enter our last prompt. This will ask the AI to take all of the scenes and turn them into Leonardo image generation prompts. Remember, these will all be in the Google Doc. As you can see, the AI has now left us with 15 different image prompts that we can use. They all say first person in them, which is key to ensuring we get POV content. Now, let's create our visuals. For this, I'll use Leonardo. Once you're on Leonardo, go to image generation. There are a few settings to adjust. First, change the preset to Leonardo Phoenix, as it makes the best images. After that, scroll down and set the generation style to the highest setting. Then, go below and change the image size to TikTok format, which is under the More option. This will make sure our images are vertical. Next, go back to ChatGPT and copy the first prompt, return to Leonardo, and paste it into the generation box. Once it's in place, go ahead and hit Generate. If I skip ahead, you can now see the result. I'm really happy with how it looks. If you like your design, we can make the rest. If your images aren't POV, experiment with what text you put at the start of your prompt. Now, repeat this process for all the prompts. Copy each prompt, hit Generate, and you should be left with a bunch of images to use. If I skip ahead, you can see that we have just that. Let's be honest. Still, images can be a bit dull, but don't worry. We'll turn these images into moving ones with just a click. Go to your Leonardo personal feed. Click your first image, and you'll see an image to motion button. Click it. On the next page, adjust the strength between two and four, depending on how much movement you want, and then hit generate. You now need to repeat this process for every single image we generated. Click on them, set strength to three, and repeat. I'll skip to when all these images are ready. As you can see, we now have our animated images, and I think they all look absolutely insane. If you're happy with them, select them all and download them so we can use them for our video. Now we have almost everything we need to make a viral video, but there's one last thing we need before we start editing, copyright free music. For this, I'll use a site called Pixabay, which offers a wide range of free music. Once you're on the site, select the sound effects option next to the search bar to refine our search. The first thing I'll search for is email, as there's a bunch of emails in our second scene. As you can see, there are lots of sound effects to choose from. I'll preview different ones using this play button here. Once you find one you like, go ahead and download that sound effect. While on this page, I also found some others, and I realized we need this too, so I'll download it for our video. With that done, I'll head back to the search bar and search for another sound that fits my video, which is the sound of some chatter. I'll pick this one here, and I think this will be really good for our video as it's super atmospheric, and it'll match the coffee shop in scene two, so I'll save this as well. The last sound effect I'll grab is a basic notification sound, 
you basically want to save sound effects for key scenes, but don't overdo it and get an effect for every scene. With our sound effects done, we can now go ahead and edit our video. Real quick guys, let me quickly talk about my community. If you're stuck at 200 views on TikTok, this is exactly what you need. I've got a full TikTok course, a list of 100 plus niches, and much more. I'll see you inside. To edit our video, open up CapCut. Once you're on here, the first thing you need to do is import everything that we've gathered. Let's add the AI images from Leonardo. Drag the first image onto the timeline. If you're unsure which image goes where, just refer back to ChatGPT. It'll guide you. Go ahead and place your images on the timeline and adjust their duration to match the voiceover. Once that's done, we'll add smooth transitions between each moving image. Go to transitions in the top right. I like one called black fade. Search for it, then drag it between the first and second images. Adjust the transition duration to 0.3 seconds and click apply to all. Now, every transition looks clean and consistent. With the transitions done, we can now add the sound effects. Head through your timeline and add sound effects where you see fit. Once they're in place, make sure to reduce the volume so they're not too loud. Once they're all in place, our sound effects should be done. The video's looking great, but I've got a few more tricks. Let's add the captions to our video. Head to text in the top left and add some default text to your video. Once it's in place, drag it to the top of your screen like so. Now enter the POV text. I'll put POV, a broke college student. Scroll down and tick the boxes under stroke and shadow. Once that's done, extend this text so that it covers the first scene. You now need to copy and paste this text for all your images. I'll fast forward this part, but just describe what's happening in the next scenes that match your text. With our text done, we can now add some effects to our video. To do this, head to the effects tab and search for an effect. Some good ones are fire, light rays, black noise, and more. Drag in a few effects, but don't go overboard. Keep it simple, like we did with the sound effects. That's the effects done. Before exporting, we'll add a final touch. Go to adjustment in the top left and apply a custom adjustment. Set the saturation to around 10 to make the video more vibrant and adjust the vignette to about 20 to darken the edges for a polished finish. Finally, head down to your timeline and place the adjustment layer below the text like so. Now click export in the top right. Make sure to export in 60 frames per second and 1080pi for the best quality. And that's it. Here's the final result. If you guys really want to go viral on social media, then join my community. That's all for today's video. Bye.